Located in the heart of one of the world's most exciting cities, right on the River Thames, you will find the world-famous London Savoy. The 1904 sculpture of Count Savoy was put back in place in 1930 on top of the new Savoy sign. You will find their Rolls Royce Phantom parked outside waiting to take you wherever you need to go. The Savoy is a London icon and all of the glamour of its 125 year history still exists. Originally, the Savoy Palace, built in 1246, and in 1381, it was burnt down during the Peasant Revolt. In 1880, the Savoy Theatre was built, and they played all of the Gilbert and Sullivan's operas. They became known as the Savoy Operas. I was lucky enough to be able to enjoy Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. In 1889, to house the many tourists coming to the operas, the Savoy Hotel was built. In 1910, they began buying up property on the Strand for expansion. In 2005, it was purchased by a Saudi Arabian prince, who then handed over management to Fairmont Hotels and Resorts. They closed the doors for the very first time in over 118 years in December of 2007 to perform a complete restoration of the entire building. After 220 million pounds later, they reopened and believe me, it was well worth the wait. It is absolutely amazing. offering breathtaking views, all 73 suites and 195 guest rooms. Arriving, I was given a bowl of fruit as a welcome gift. All dedicated to the famous people who have stayed here. They offer marble bathrooms with walk-in showers with giant shower heads, and they use the label amenities. a nice workout area and their swimming pool located in the atrium offers natural lighting. Here you will find some of London's finest restaurants and bars. Caspar's serving seafood with amazing panoramic view of the River Thames, the American Bar and Grill, the Thames Foyer famous for their afternoon tea, Beaufort Bar and Grill, and Gordon Ramsay's Savoy Grill, which is London's most legendary restaurant. Well, thanks for joining me on my tour of the London Savoy, and for more must-see destinations, please subscribe.